guys. Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. So today I've got something completely different for you. Um, I've been reviewing retro machines of late again, as you know, um, and they are on the menu for the next 12 months. Um, however, uh, as you know, well, I think quite a few of you know, I think I mentioned in the past, um, I collect the HDMI um, remakes, uh, the minis. So, <clears throat> and I do plan to share them with you as well. Uh, today's video is about something very, very special. Um, the Capcom Home Arcade. Okay, so a little bit of a story about it. Um, this one came out, it was quite expensive, uh, about six months ago, I think. Um, I've had my eye on it for 12 months since it's been released and I saw all the promotional garb and stuff. Um, I've never been a massive arcade player, but the chance to play something on a machine like this is just, it was too much to take for me basically, you know, so uh, <laughs> shiny syndrome and stuff. So, I thought, with my birthday coming up um, in a few weeks, well, September, I treat myself a uh, big birthday, big gift, work hard enough, etc. So I went away, I'd done that, parcel arrived. However, uh, my mum um, saw how happy I was to receive this and uh, turned around and looking for a birthday gift for me, or I thought she was looking for a birthday gift for me, basically said, oh, you know, let me get it for you and all that. So we had like a little bit of a misunderstanding, a nice misunderstanding. Um, so the plan was to keep it until September, put it away, open it and do an unboxing then. Um, however, it transpires, my mum being the person she is, <laughs> hi mum if you're watching, I hope you're watching so you can see this, um, gave me it as a gift and I was speechless, I, I really was speechless, it was a hell of a gift and a hell of a thought and thanks mum, I really, um, really, really appreciate it. So with that in mind, I want to set it up in the studio, so as per my normal policy, I'm going to open it for you guys, unbox it, I'm not going to review it, I'm going to unbox it, show you what's in it. You've seen the little um, trailer before this, and at the end I'm going to do a little montage, that side, of the 16 games that's on this bad boy. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's get started, and this is a big box. Okay, so on the front we see Capcom Home Arcade, 16 games, and it lists it in different languages. We see the actual machine itself, which looks like um, the front of an arcade machine, a stand-up cabinet, where you'd have like, your buttons, if they come across there, and your joystick. And what's nice about this is it can be two-player, so you've got the second joystick and the second set of buttons as well. So any of you guys fancy coming around to um, crash over, have a few beers, Let's hit the studio and play some Street Fighter Tour. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know where to start with this, to be honest. I'm looking at the box, and it's, uh, what does he say about preparation and all that? I don't think I know where to open it. Okay, so I'm just going to do my little bit of mindless waffle while I find what the hell I'm doing. Trusty orange knife. There we go. Okay, that's open nice enough. Just a straight slide along. Um, so before I get it all out, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the sides. That's just bump on the side there. Uh, all the logo of the games, which I'm going to go into, go into in a minute. Just nearly hit myself in the face with a massive box. A little bit of side there, and just trying to get this right. The back of the box. You wouldn't believe the weight of this box, guys. It's one of the most awkward videos I think I've ever shot. And just a bad of being HDMI. Um, the name... Koch Media, Koch Media, don't know, German possibly, um, and the, I'm going to have to stand up to actually make sure this gets in shot, <laughs> there you go, and the screenshots of the actual games guys, so again, I just hope you can appreciate the nature of the beast, uh, it really is, so try and open it here, this incidentally has got a, a UK 12 rating for the games, it's arcade, but I, I know a couple of games on there to be honest, so yeah, maybe. Oh, oh my word, so straight away uh, I just open it up and there's just this big foam uh, casing. Okay, and it says here USB power plug. Okay, so it's obviously the little cable with the USB like we're used to now. Uh, think your mobile phone, that kind of thing. Okay, I. Uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and lift this out. I'm not even going to attempt to try and lift the box up to show you. Right, 
right now I don't even know how the heck this is going to fit on my desk, but <laughs> we shall try. Sorry about that guys, so I'm going to dump that great big box over there, on the floor, and out the way. Gee whiz, there's some weight in this, not kidding. You wouldn't want to be hit by, hit by this guys, seriously. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's just unplug this, unplug it. let's just open this box, I just saw the uh, little unplug. So obviously we've got just our standard uh, United Kingdom, if you're watching us um, in the States or across Europe, standard United Kingdom uh, adapter with the little slot there for the HDMI cable to go into. Talking of which, here we have our HDMI, HDMI, I think it's HDMI Mini, that's the bigger HDMI for the uh, sockets and that is the obviously the smaller one for the uh, machine. Put those over there. And then we just have a HDMI um, cable which goes from the machine itself into the back of a HDMI television which most are these days aren't they? There we go. Okay. So standard cable there guys, nothing to get excited about. And then we get the Capcom Home Arcade Quick Guide. Okay, so that's just, yeah, it's, it's just basic setup instructions, I'm not going to bore you with it. But, uh, we all know how these things work by now. Plug in, plug in, plug in, bish bash bosh, turn the telly on, play. You know what I mean? Add beer and we're away and friends. And there's a little set of stickers there. Uh, which obviously look like a little overlay for the machine itself. They are pause, insert coin, player one, insert coin, and player two. So I don't know if you, any of you guys have played any of the MAME um, arcade emulator, multi arcade machine emulator, maybe, um, on the PC and stuff. Uh, and they tend to have this little function where you can press for credits. So stuff like some of the games on here I've played in the past and I'm useless at. <laughs> so I'm hoping to God that I can just press, keep on pressing this little insert coin and get more credits, man. A la uh, Neo Geo. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly read you a list of the games that's on this bad boy and then I'm going to show you it. Okay, so starting from the top in no particular order. 1944, uh, I think that's a vertical shooter. Alien vs Predator is a side on scroll left thing, something like Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy, Final Fight, uh, something like that. A to B, beat the heck out of everything. Um, I love Alien, I love Predator, so that's going to be a nice little mix for me. And if I'm not wrong, if I'm sure it's unavailable, or it's like a really, really, really high price cartridge stroke game stroke board, so that's actually a bargain, probably worth getting the machine for. Um, Armored Warriors, Capcom Sports Club, that sounds interesting, I think it's basketball, tennis and soccer, football, um, five-a-side kind of thing, you know. Um, Captain Commando, Cyberbots Full Metal Madness, I think that's another side on one. Dark Stalkers, I think, is a 2D beat-em-up uh, fighter, a la Street Fighter 2. Eco Fighters is a shooter, uh, shooter up. Uh, Final Fight is a scrolling from left to right beat em up. Um, where are we? Ghouls and Ghosts, the game I was referring to before, is one of my favourite games of all time. Uh, basically, like, it's ideal to play on Halloween. You're like this little knight and you kind of go left to right and you're jumping over stuff and the zombies and all kinds of stuff. It's rock hard. Any of you who have actually finished it, please drop me a comment below. I'll be most impressed. <laughs> Seriously, I will. Uh, Giga Wing is a shoot 'em up. Mega Man The Power Battle is a side on platformer. Um, I'm going to drop a hell of a clanger here, guys, and I'm going to get roasted for it. I've never in my life ever played a Mega Man game. So, this will be the first one. Um, Pro Gear, I think, is a Japanese shooter. Uh, shoot 'em up. Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting needs no introduction at all. One of the biggest games of all time. Anybody. Anybody out there who fancies a few beers, I've got a sofa bed in the studio here, come round, let's do it, Street Fighter all night. Dave, I'm looking at you, Mr Reptile Man, and anybody else local, <laughs> Baby Blondie, you can come up as well, Si. Uh, where are we? Strider, which is a side-on um, platformer and Super Puzzle Fighter Turbo, which is one of these little, um, I think the little blocks, little colour blocks, like Tetris drop down the uh, screen either side. 
uh, and I've got a straight man and gets like say three of a colour or something, you do the same and I think whoever's leading gets to do like a little punch animation and it's, it, it, it basically simulates a fight between your two characters, say Ryu and like Chun-Li or something on either side, you know. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing that. Puzzle games at my age now didn't really sort of work, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I, I do enjoy them, so it might be something I play with Geordie, possibly. Right, there's a waffle out of the way, guys. Do you want to see it? Or do you want to see it? Okay, so... There she is, in all her glory. Okay, so we see immediately, and I just wish I could pervade the weight of this thing, guys. Okay, so there we go. It is a arcade-style board, like you get on one of the stand-up arcade machines. We see a blue joystick and buttons, we see a yellow joystick and buttons, and what I'll do, I'll turn it a little bit side on there for you to give you the full panoramic as such. Okay, so we have, there's actually eight buttons, where are we? Oh, wrong way around, sorry, that's how big this thing is. <laughs> okay, so, also straight away, listen to that. That's where the money is there guys, the parts. Nice full um, joystick, arcade joystick. We notice six buttons and automatically they are very, very springy. And I'm presuming this is the insert coin and the uh, player one. And again, we just go over to the other side. It's just basically mirrored guys. So there we go. Those buttons there and the two buttons up here. Okay, so if we turn it to the back, and we have um, a on-off switch, we have a power socket, we have the HDMI, and we have an extension. Um, I'm not sure what that's for, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe, now you couldn't hook a couple of by that really, could you? Because obviously you've got the two player, but uh, I've moved that off there anyway, so that's extension for whatever. Um, there's nothing on the side, but that's nice there, guys, just showing a little bit of side profile. This is actually about approximately three inches um, from top to bottom there, and approximately 24 inches across. Um, the other side is nicely rounded, as you can see, and we just do the same with the front of it. Okay, guys, so there's the kit itself. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to close the video off, and I'm going to run a little montage of all the games available. So I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, if you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. Um, tell me, do you like the look of the games? Are you up for coming round sometime to the studio in Wolf Towers here? Uh, Woodchurch Whittle and uh, having a few beers and crashing over and having a couple of games and whatever. <laughs> and that goes for some of you USA folks as well. Mr Justin's here, if you're watching, jump on that plane, son. Um, yeah, so there we go, guys. That's that. Um, before I go, before I show you the montage and shut up waffling, um, if you found me via the YouTube algorithm, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any form of social media, shares, hopefully word the mouth, have a look around guys, I do retro stuff, I do board gaming stuff, I do miniature stuff, I do Funko Pop reviews, um, Geekbox unboxings, I do... I do all sorts, a little bit of eclectic content there folks. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, share the video, click a like, and more importantly, leave me a comment below. I love my comments. To you returning folks, you're amazing as always. Thank you so much for your support. Enjoy the montage guys, and I'll see you in the next one.